All right, everybody, this is Eternal Blade here, and welcome to 20 Hotkeys to Improve Your 3DS Max Workflow. So let's jump straight into Max here, and let's take a look at this sample scene here. So hotkey number one, maximize your viewport. The way you do this is by pressing and holding Alt and W. That will maximize and then minimize. You don't even have to click. You can do it on any viewport. It'll just give you an easy way to bring your scene up, focus in on an element, and just start going to town on it. Number two. Pressing M will open up the material editor. This is really handy. Instead of clicking this button up here, just press M on your keyboard, it'll open up. M again, it'll go away. Number three. So if you have a busy scene, and let's say you don't want to look at the camera, all you have to do is press Shift and C, and the camera goes away. Shift C again, it'll come back. The same thing can be said for lights. Shift L gets rid of the light. Shift L brings it back. And of course, you can do the same for geometry with Shift G and shift G. So usually if you're kind of working like this, you know, it can be kind of hard just like the light, you got to get right on it. Just press shift G, shift C, and boom, all you have left is your light. All right. Uh, next hotkey is select. So a lot of the times, you know, if you're, you know, just in your regular max workflow, you can easily move something when you try to select it. Just press Q and boom, you're in selection mode. You can't do anything else. Just select. All right. W will allow you to move your objects very easily. R will allow you to scale your objects, and of course E will let you rotate your objects in any rotation that you wish. So moving on from here, a lot of people like architectural designs, and those are pretty uniform, so press S will toggle on your snaps. And you can use that to just to snap your, your objects to the grid here, which can be at predefined spaces. So very, very useful. Um, next is your viewport control. So we're just choosing this one viewport here. We'll have F goes to your front viewport, L to your left hand viewport, T to the top of your viewport, and P will get you into your perspective where you can rotate around again. And of course, you're going to have C goes into your camera view. All right. Another handy tool to have is let's say our models are all sort of wonky, messed up, and you know, misscaled. If you press Z, it will zoom your object, your viewport, to the object extents which basically means you can never lose your object, you know, always have the full scene in your 3DS Max viewport. Another handy hotkey to have is shaded in wireframe mode, F3. It will just easily allow you to transition between the two and just kind of see your work a little bit better. And F4 will toggle on or off the edge faces. So let's say we make this, um, well, let's just get rid of the grid there. Um, you can just see that the edge faces turned on and off. Now the F9 button will actually uh, render your scene for you right there. Uh, it will turn off my recording software, so I won't actually be pushing it. And F10 will bring up the render dialog box right here. All right, so those are just some 20 hotkeys to improve your 3DS Max workflow. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, some of those were sort of new to me, others I have been using for a long time. So I will see you guys next time and happy modeling.